Okay, I'm honored to introduce our next inductee, Major General Gary Harrell. General Harrell is a 1973 graduate and another exceptional product of the Buck Battalion. I'd like to share a very <coughs> brief story concerning General Harrell. Having come from the uh, Special Operations Committee in my last assignment, I can tell you that General Har to say General Harrell is a, a legend would be an absolute understatement. Um, about this time last year over the mountain in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, when I received word that I'd been selected for, for this particular position, a very, very old crusty, but one of my mentors, old retired command sergeant major named C.W. Thompson grabbed me and said, Dan, you just shot a note to Gary Harrell, which sort of shocked me. I told him you were okay, <laughs> as officers go. <laughs> and that if you stepped in it over here and got into any trouble, that he should figure out a way to save you. <clears throat> now, I wasn't quite sure how to, how to take that initially, but it was obviously an honor to be introduced to someone with General Harrell's reputation, and you'll soon know why. A commission as an infantry officer, General Harrell served with the 82nd Airborne initially before volunteering and earning, earning his Green Beret as a Special Forces officer in 1977. After a tour of Panama with 7th Special Forces Group, he returned to the 82nd, where he served in a variety of position, positions which included deployment to Grenada for Operation Urgent Fury. In 1984, he returned to the Special Operations Community and was selected to serve as a troop commander for Special Forces Operational Detachment Delta, more commonly re referred to as Delta Force. He saw action, action as part of Operation Just Cause in Panama, served with the Joint Special Operations Command for Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm, and returned as a squadron commander to Delta. Following operations in Colombia, General Harrell served as the Ground Forces Commander for Combat Operations, immortalized in the book and subsequent movie Black Hawk Down. Wounded by enemy mortar fire, he returned to the U.S., but soon afterwards returned once again to serve as the deputy commander and eventually served as the commander for Delta. After a series of assignments with Central Command to include a deployment to Afghanistan and service as the assistant division commander for the 10th Mountain Division during Operation Anaconda, General Harrell assumed command of Special Operations Command Central, SOCCENT, commanding the largest assembly of special operations forces since World War II. As, operation, as part of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Now, for those of you cadets who think your, your schooling will be done after your time here at ETSU and you become a lieutenant, just listen to this list of courses, and I had to cut some of them out because it would just take too long, that Major General Harrell has atten attended over the course of his career. The Airborne Course, Ranger Course, Military Freefall Course, Pathfinder School, Special Forces Qualification Course, the Armed Forces Staff College, and the U.S. Army War College. A short sampling of his military awards include the Defense Superior Service Medal, the Bronze Star Medal with Valor Device and two Oak Leaf Clusters, and the Purple Heart. Now, following retirement, General Harrell's enjoyed life as a very successful businessman, serving as the Director General for the King Abdullah II Special Operations Training Center in Amman, Jordan, and is currently serving as the Vice President of Special Operations Programs for Cubic Defense Applications. Sir, we are very happy to hear your plans to spend more time here in the Johnson City area, and we look forward to having you visit us here at the Buck Battalion more often. I'm sure your wife, Jennifer, is, is happy to have you in town a little bit more often as well, sir. I knew right away that I was inheriting a, a, an awesome program when I found out that our alumni include, included Major General Hurl, and we're very proud to include him to the uh, Buck Battalion Hall of Fame, sir. Thank you all very much. It's a uh, real privilege and honor to uh, be here today to receive this honor from the place where I went to school. Uh, although I will tell you that several of my professors probably are scratching their heads or rolling over in their graves, depending on where they are. I, uh, it's also a distinct honor to, uh, to share the, the stage with uh, Admiral Anderson and uh, Dan Mahoney. By the way, Dan asked me to mention the fact that for all of you that are here today, there's a discount in the gun shop. <laughs> and muzzleloading season <laughs> opens tomorrow. Rob, you might want to leave now. I don't know. But um, Dr. Rowe, thanks uh, for you being here. Colonel Bishop, uh, family and friends. And uh, Rob Harris, uh, thanks for being here with your family. In case you wonder why Rob's on that list, Rob operated on me in a place called Mogadishu and a place called Fort Bragg. And I wouldn't be here without that. So uh, I uh, always make time for Dr. Harris. I uh, am very excited to accept this uh, award today.
but I, I don't do it for myself. I accept it for the non-commissioned officer corps, uh, in particular the United States Army, but our military. Most of you have no idea what the non-commissioned officer corps means to the United States military, but I'll tell you, uh, there is no other army, there's no other military in the world that does non-commissioned officers like we do. They're the backbone of the military and they're responsible for my successes, that and the teammates I was fortunate enough to, uh, to serve with in my, uh, my time in, in service. I'd also like to thank uh, my uh, family and uh, friends. You know, most of us who wear the uniform are gone for uh, too many birthdays, uh, too many anniversaries, and uh, all of that. And uh, it is a, a privilege and an honor to have a family that supports you as well as my family has supported me. And uh, last but certainly not least, I want to thank my uh, high school sweetheart for uh, many, many years who's put up with uh, all of those absences and uh, a lot more than that. Uh, you see, she's met the medevac bird three times and uh, I was the first one off the medevac bird. Now, you may think that's fairly inconsequential. I'll tell you, it's not. Uh, when you're the first person they take out for medevac or the first person that gets off the bird when it lands, it ain't ever good. And uh, Jen's, Jen uh, did that with me, and she's been to way too many death notifications for family members who aren't coming home. And she was always there by my side for that. And uh, for that, honey, I love you, and thanks. Thank you all very much, and I appreciate it.